Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode I want to raise some awareness uh, of 3D printing errors that can occur that can be potentially dangerous. And I make this video because Preston from the channel Press Reset uh, asks his content creator uh, buddies in, in the 3D printing community to make this kind of videos to, to raise that awareness. So uh, there is a shout out to his channel and please go and visit his channel as well if you haven't seen him already and if you're not subscribed to him, well, do so. So this is all about safety. Uh, we're working with 3D printers. We're working with machines that uh, heat up plastic so that it can be pushed through a nozzle and we can create nice things with it. But we have to be aware that those machines uh, are heating up plastics and to a point that is really really hot sometimes uh, depending on what kind of materials you're working with uh, temperatures that can go up to uh, 350 or maybe 400 degrees celsius for the nozzle and uh, well maybe 110 120 degrees for the heated bed this is enough heat to well to, to cook your food for example um, if everything goes well, then there is no problem with it. And uh, all this heat will be used uh, only to, to heat up that part of the printer that needs to be this hot. And well, you can print nice things with it. But if things go wrong, and there are some things that can go wrong, then problems can occur. And those problems can be a danger. So let me give you a few examples that happened to me already and uh, well it can happen to you as well and you just have to be aware of it. You don't have to be afraid of it, just be aware of it. When I had my Fabricator Mini for the second print, so the, the machine was brand new, it still is, uh, for the second print I started to print this part. Uh, I found this on Thingiverse. You can store your SD cards and micro SD cards and all kind of nice things in it. And when I was printing it, somewhere mid print, I heard my printer was stopping. Uh, I didn't hear it completely stop, but I heard that the steppers weren't working anymore. And uh, when I took a look at it, I saw that the printer was not responding to any comments anymore. Now, let me go a step back. This printer is a printer that is connected to a serial connection. So uh, in my case I run Simplify 3D. Uh, I've made a profile for this printer in Simplify 3D and I've given this printer the, the command to print and Simplify 3D does it command by command by command. So uh, every time when the printer has done something then the next command is given to the printer. And this is done by Simplify 3D for me, so I don't have to do it, Simplify 3D does it. This means that when this uh, stream of data from Simplify 3D to the printer is interrupted, then the printer doesn't know what to do anymore. In my case there was something wrong and Simplify 3D says on screen that it had to do with uh, the firmware. I don't know, because I, I don't know what was the reason for this problem, problem. Uh, but something went wrong and all of a sudden my stepper motors didn't move anymore. In fact, the whole printer wasn't responding to commands anymore. So what happened was that mid print, in this print, and I'll show you the video, mid print, uh, the video had stopped moving, it also didn't uh, cooled down because well there, there wasn't any comment that told the printer to cool down. So the head was 220 degrees Celsius and uh, all the movements were stopped and the head was just pushing in this plastic. And this is where things can go wrong. Uh, this is where uh, this plastic could catch fire if it's too hot. At 220 degrees Celsius you don't have to worry about it but it could have happened if the temperature was higher. Um, another thing that uh, happened to me and that happened to the uh, Hypercube printer that I built 
is that uh, all of a sudden I got a Windows update. So I was sending serial commands to the printer, uh, this was all done by Simplify 3D again, and then all of a sudden uh, my Windows machine in, in the middle of the night uh, did an update. And it, it shut down the machine, started it up again, shut down and started up again. And uh, yeah, my printer, it, it, it stopped receiving commands from Simplify 3D because my whole Windows system crashed. It didn't crash, but it, it was gone in, in, in all of a sudden. So these things can happen. Worse is if your uh, extruder, for example, uh, if your thermistor uh, gets a failure. What if your thermistor doesn't send any data back to your printer again? Well, if the firmware in your printer is correct, it will sense that there is a problem and that it isn't getting any data anymore and it will shut down the system. There will be a failsafe in, in the whole system. But if this isn't correct uh, implemented in your printer, then uh, the thermistor is saying that your nozzle is cold and your printer will start heating your nozzle. Even, uh, well, well your, your nozzle can be 250 degrees hot already, but because the system thinks that the nozzle is cold, because the thermistor is gone bad, uh, it will heat up and heat up and heat up all the way to where, uh, well, to where it can catch fire. So, there are things that can go wrong. Uh, something can break in your printer and can obstruct the, the movements and there things can go wrong. Uh, something on your motherboard can go wrong. Uh, th there are a few big power lines that have a lot of amperes of, of power going to, through them and even there things can go wrong. Uh, so your power supply can catch fire or uh, your motherboard can catch fire or the connectors which is more likely and uh, these things happen to people can catch fire. And is this really scary? Well, yes and no. Uh, if you know that this can happen then you know that you can place the, the uh, individual parts on places where, uh, well, if they catch fire who cares, for example, like in a garage on a stone floor, you won't, you won't, you don't have to be afraid that everything burns down if there are flames there. Uh, or you can have uh, safety uh, safety uh, things around your printers. For example, I have a fire alarm above my printers. Uh, I have a system that controls the heat in the printers. And when the heat is too hot, then uh, it will turn down the power on the printer. So it, it will take off the power. And those are the things you can do, but with the example of this thing, none of my uh, safety measurements <coughs> were kicking in. So, uh, well, the printer stayed at this hot temperature and stayed on the top of this print. So, you have to be careful with your printer. Uh, does, I, does it say that you shouldn't make prints that are very long? 80 hour prints for example, well, I choose to do so, I choose to, to make these long prints, but I also choose to do it with a printer that is standing in a place that if it catches fire, well, who cares, uh, nothing is going to happen, uh, my printer will burn down, but that will be it. Uh, so I choose to do so, but not on the printers that are standing here behind me. Because if they catch fire, well, <laughs> that cupboard there will catch fire as well. And, and so, yeah, my house will burn down. So those won't print unattended. And that's the thing I want to give to you. Uh, please make sure that you're, yeah, that you're playing it on safe. That if you're taking a risk, and if you're willing to take that risk, uh, that you're doing... Yeah, knowing that if something happens, that it won't be that big of a problem. Let the printer burn down, but don't your, don't let your house burn down. So that's what I want to tell you. And uh, well, please make sure you print safe. It's a great hobby, and everyone who is interested in building things should be able to to print things because it's it's really a great way to make your your, your stuff, and it's yeah, I love it. But Play it safe. This is it for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, a big shout out to Preston because because of him I was making this video. 
and I'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.